If you've ever wondered what a typical day at azdrone.net looks like, I'm bringing you along today. We're headed up to one of our newest project sites, the Solstice Project. All right, before we do anything else this morning, we're on location now. And the first thing that I'm gonna to need to do here is actually get my Lance authorization. So we're gonna go down to the uh, drone tab and we're gonna go down to Aloft's air control. And here we are, it's pretty close to where we're at right now. So I'm gonna switch over to Lance. We're doing commercial flight today and we're gonna be going up to 300 feet. And of course, we had a uh, we had a construction vehicle driving up the road when we started this, but we're gonna set this to now and a maximum of two hours, and eligible for our auto approval through a loft. So we are submitting here, and there we go. So momentarily, we should have our response on this Lance authorization, since we are in a 400 foot grid. And we already have up in the top area here that the, uh, that the submission was accepted and we're good to go. So there we are. It's cool watching it on screen because it looks like the front left prop is just not doing anything. All right, so we're out here at the Solstice Project location right now, and you've probably seen a couple of little video clips and stills of getting the drone set up. We got the drone up into the air today to do our 2D ortho mosaic model. We also did some new video capture and a bunch of new still captures because things are progressing faster than they were supposed to be at this point in time. So with that in mind, we're gonna be showing up here a little bit more. Once again, this is a 53 home project. So this is going to be ongoing for us for a while. We're going to be coming out here uh, uh, two times a month at least, but potentially more often if things continue progressing as quickly as they are. All right, so the next part, we're going to head back to the office. I'm going to have a little bit of lunch, and then we're going to offload everything and walk through what the next steps are in a typical day doing a project like this. All right, so here we are back at the office. So we were out on our job site this morning, had a good time. Temperatures were warming up today, so I don't have to bring the big jacket. All of that made for a good day. And we got some great captures while we were out there. So, and some additional video beyond what we usually do. So right now on this little SD to micro SD card, we've got everything that we did today. And what you can see on screen is that I've already prepped things in the morning for where my files are going to be going because this is a long project and it's going to continue along. So 
this is number five for our flights here um, on this location. We, we were expecting to have only done three by now because they were just getting the project started. Lucky for us, they're moving along. So, you know, that makes our lives better because it means that we're out there flying more often. We're getting some additional unique requests from the clients. So, um, you know, things are rolling. It's probably going to grow on us for this project. So I have everything ready where I want to put it. So now comes the big thing of let's offload some media. Now, today I used the Mavic 2 Pro and I did not use the Phantom 4 Pro. I'm checking out a weird fan sound, but um, so we use the Mavic 2 Pro today for everything on this one. Normally, I've been bringing the Phantom 4 Pro out um, for the modeling side of things. But so this is all Mavic 2 Pro today. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to get all of my ortho mosaic images. Now, one of the really cool things in these repeated flights that I love to see is the fact that I keep coming back with the same amount of images. So that means that my autonomous flights are spot on. They're getting the images in the same locations, again, in the same quantity. So that's extra awesome. So let me highlight uh, DJI 546, and I think it's like 132. So um, let's go down. And what we're looking for is a break in my pattern. So I always do the... Um, the uh, ortho images first and shift right there. So I just highlighted everything down to my first MP4. So like I said, I do the ortho images first. So I go do that flight. So I know I've got a bunch of JPEGs. So that's the first thing I'm going to see off the memory card is this big block of JPEGs. And the big block of JPEGs should be 132 images. And it is. So that worked out really nicely. And while this is loading here, I want to say we weren't on the site too long. We were only out um, on the location for about an hour. One of the reasons why we can get things done pretty quickly is the fact that we do a lot of pre-planning. We utilize tools like Drone Harmony and Litchi and Map Pilot Pro, and we use those to make those repeated flights. So our big investment when we first start into a new project is getting the initial flight plans set up and usually we'll spend a couple hours out on a job site to get everything the way we want it so that the next time we come out, um, we can duplicate our results again. So, like I said, about an hour out there, 15 minute drive out, 15 minute drive back. Hey, I've got an hour and a half time invested plus what I did this morning. So spent an hour going through all the gear, picking out the things we wanted to do today. So, so far, two and a half hours invested somewhere in there. And then what's going to happen next is that we need to assemble the models and not only assemble the models, but also take our video and edit that into a uh, video flight that shows the changes and the progress over time. The ortho mosaic that we have is going to be a before and after ortho mosaic. So you can see at a glance what's happened on the location. Finally, we also just do some standard stills. And because the clients like to have those, they, they want to see and show some things up. Sometimes those standard stills are set up so that we can do a time lapse with them. And sometimes I just grab some extra stills based on the conversations that I have with the clients about the last report that we sent to them, what they liked, what they didn't, that kind of stuff. So our next thing that we want to do is go to the videos. So here we are, and it's not a bunch of videos. It's two videos that follow several flight paths. So let's make sure that we're not missing any others. So I'm just scrolling down and I knew that I did one more flight path. So there we go. So we're dragging three videos over that are going to get post-processed afterward. So running our model, I'm going to be doing both MetaShape and WebODM because uh, I want to compare a couple things for myself now that we're getting into this project and seeing each of the overlays going on. I want to do a little, uh, a little more uh, investigation there. Um, with the additional videos, it's just to give a little more content for these folks as well. And when we're done with those orthos and we make our 2D model, we're also making a sample 3D model, even though we're not doing a grid pattern, because I did it on one of their recent uh, videos or one of their recent pages and they really liked it. So um, they said, hey, you know, that model's kind of cool. They're not taking measurements from it or anything and it's really not a big deal to me. I've already invested the time in the flight. And with that in mind, you know, one little extra thing for a good client never hurts. So let's also open up the stills here and we are going to go back up to find 
there's those mp4s so okay those are all the extra stills right there and now that this is copying over and i'll be closing this one out i will not be formatting this card right away because i need to double check that i got everything and that uh, everything is working well so usually i will start processing this stuff you know we came back right after lunch and um in the end here you know let's say an hour to the models and an hour to the video and then some time to the um to the regular stills as well so we got two hours maybe three hours plus the two and a half hours invested this morning from prep time and from actually going out to flight so let's call it three hours and two and a half hours so my worst case scenario for putting together one of these custom pages for my clients we're going to come in somewhere around five hours a time and i'm satisfied with that that works okay for me so i'm going to close that 100 media right now we're going to go back and just double check ourselves ortho images are here um we've got the stills okay so those extra stills are there we've got the video and you'll notice that i skipped past stills edited because one of the other things that i do is i do pop all of the stills into adobe's lightroom go through do minor edits pick out the kind of things that my clients like so that we can put that into their um their little slideshow their little image viewer show that's on their custom page so before we get to the whole see my build layout see my build before we get into that point let's go to solstice really quick we've got the post processing that we have to do so that's my next step and i'm not going to drag you through this because it'll be painful to sit here and watch things spin away while they're compiling the um compiling the models but scrolling down here so we'll be making that video for them we're going to be making a before and after ortho mosaic and we can also do a digital elevation model as well we could throw that in there um there's that 3d site model that they were just interested in and uh here's the gallery as well so my next step like i said not going to bore you i'm going to go off to doing my post processing and when i'm done with the post processing we'll be assembling this final page so i'm going to show you at the end of this the post processing we're not going to go through the page build together uh, we do have an online class about doing custom web design custom web pages for your clients for a different way to do your deliveries and kind of stand out a little bit in your customers minds all right back on screen i have a different shirt on why do i have a different shirt on because it's a different day so we went through almost all of this yesterday uh, i started doing all of my post-processing work to get everything ready for my clients so i could send them a link today and they could take a look at the latest update but you know phone calls friends family since we're coming up on the holiday it's it's kind of a more casual week nobody was looking to have this one instantly after we got the flight done so i stopped recording yesterday and took five <laughs> today this morning i finished out the video i finished out everything that i wanted so um when we're in here looking at our deliverables so our deliverables were you know a new updated video one to one and a half minutes is what they've been asking for um just to show the major changes and after the video we also do have a before and after ortho mosaic model so the before ortho mosaics from december 2nd i believe and here we are at december 22nd rolling on down 3d site model since we collected the data with the drone and did our two-dimensional model the 3d model um, is just a nice little extra and actually moving around in this one this looks pretty good um let's let's take five here uh, just for a little bit of fun, if you don't mind fun. And here we go. And we're going to be cutting this one uh, short pretty soon. So don't worry, we're just about wrapped up. But all right, here we are. We're hosting on Sketchfab with this model generated from Metashape here. And as you can see, we've got a, a couple of items with annotations on them. And if I click at that, that's for site 47. We can zoom in here. One other thing, so this is a hilly area and you really do, even though we didn't do the full high resolution setup with the uh, grid pattern, uh, just the standard back and forth pattern has given us a lot of information. So you really can get a feel for the job site. And you can see that these houses are gonna be built on some slopes with some pretty cool views, if you ask me so there we go let's escape out of this so this is just an extra for the clients a couple of folks had mentioned they did like these and um 
Finally, we've got the still image gallery for December 22nd. So we showcase the uh, areas that, um, you know, have seen more progress so that people can see the changes. So it's literally been two weeks since we were last out. So what went into all of this? Let's go back here, take a look. So the video first, we always do the same video flights. We've got a couple of flights pre-programmed in Litchi. Um, we follow those same flight paths each time so that we can have the same exact feel of flying through or do a time lapse later on, you know, from December to maybe April or something. Um, so there's that video. Video was processed with Final Cut Pro and we are also using the Motion VFX tool for highlighting some of these and also a couple of other call out tools as well. Um, so that gets into some more... Um, Final Cut editing or overall video editing. All of the images that we captured for the Ortho Mosaic were processed in Metashape and in Web ODM. Decided to utilize the Metashape one right now um, for this particular presentation, but we can also down the road include the Web ODMs. The next one, the site model, taking the same exact ortho images that we collected and actually generating a 3D model in Metashape as well, and then uploading it to Sketchfab. And Sketchfab, we've got an embed code from Sketchfab so that we can mess around with it right here in the web page, or we can go back out to that full view again. Finally, the still image gallery. I do have a couple of flight paths set up to take some of the same photos and similar photos. And then in the end, these all get loaded in my Dropbox and they're displayed on the website here through a tool called Outside the Box, which allows you to feed in your contents of your Dropbox and feed them in in a more stylized way like this with the uh, still images. And also that video is being pulled into the website in the same exact way. If I click on this here, you'll see there's the Solstice Ridge video. If you've seen some of the other videos that we've started from this location, um, you'll recognize some of the video layout tools that we're using just to um, just to identify the sites and give people an idea of where the construction is going on. All right, everybody, so there you go. That's all my post-processing. So yesterday, total time, maybe slightly under five hours um, between commute out there, actual shooting time, coming back and sorting through the data, and then going through and doing the post-processing as well. I'd say the heaviest lifting is the video, so that's the most time-consuming part of this for me, is putting these videos together and highlighting these particular areas. So now you've got a good idea of what our standard drone job day is, except normally we'd finish it all on the same day, instead of, you know, kicking back a little bit and finishing it up the next day. I hope this was interesting and informative to you. Please drop a note, do a like, do a subscribe. We'll take it all. And also stop by classes.azdrone.net if you're interested in how we do this final layout with custom web pages for our clients. So we do have a class on that as well as in total 17 classes on a lot of the tools that we use and a lot of the techniques that we use for building our smaller drone business as well. See you all again really soon. Have a great rest of your day.